Hello folks and welcome back to another lesson. In this one, we're going to be smashing through Plug-In Baby by Muse off the Origins of Symmetry album. It's part of our celebrations of it turning 20 this weekend. So let's crack on and have a little look, shall we? So slowly, the riff in its entirety is... <laughs> So the first part of the intro riff slowly, and I'll play it cleanly so that you can hear the notes clearly. You're going to start on the 8th fret on the D string. And I'm using my 3rd finger there because then I'm going to go to my little finger for the ninth, and then my 1st finger is on the 6th fret on the next string up. So you play those 3 notes twice. Then you go to the 7th fret. Next run is 9, 6, 7, 9. Next string up, and I'm moving to my first finger there to do the little hammer on and pull off. Then you've got 9, 7, 6. And again, I'm using my first and second fingers there, and then I'm going to my little finger. You could use your third if you want to do the ninth fret on the G. And then you're in that nice position again. Okay, so you want your, your first, second, third, and fourth fingers to be in their respective fret positions, right? So, those are the first uh, two bars. Then the next two bars go. And then you've got the bit, right? The little arpeggio. So, that part is the same as the kind of pattern as the first part because you're going to go nine, six, seven, twice, then you go nine, six, okay? And this part you can either do with your, you can either go second finger, fourth finger, and then first on the seventh fret on the B, or you could do you could move your first finger up. But I'm going to stick with my four fingers um, in their allotted frets. So. And here, I'm again sticking with the four frets. And then you've got the tenth fret on the G. To play that part. Then you've got this. And you're going to play 777. Seven. And you go to the ninth fret on the B, right? That's the trickiest bit for me. So I'm going to do a slide, seven, six, seven. And then I'm going to use my third finger to get back into there. And that is the beginning of the riff again, right? It just repeats around. So again, that last part, slowly. be another way to do it. Let's try it with some of the fuzz factory. <laughs> So that's the whole thing, right? 
and you're going to play that round, the whole thing round twice, and then you tag on that extra. Okay, there's no guitar in the actual verse, so you're basically going to come in with this. Man, that's such a beast of a fuzz, isn't it? So, you're going to go... Nice and simple, it's an F5, so I'm on the 9th and the 11th fret on the A and D string. Eight notes there, and then you take your third finger off, and you're playing 9 and 10. Then you're into the chorus, so let me play that through, okay? are basically G, B minor, F sharp major. So you do the um, G chord for two bars, then B for one bar, F, F sharp for one bar. But I'm going to fret it like this, with my thumb over the top, right? eighth notes throughout okay but then I'm just moving these three fingers up up one string each right so my first finger stays the same I'm still covering two notes there but I'm just adding just a lot easier to move around than you'll find it cleaner. I think that might be what um, Matt does in this actually. So slowly you're going to play two bars of G. Followed by one bar each of B minor and F sharp major. Then the second time it does something slightly different in that you play G for two bars. B minor. And rather than changing there, you stay on it for four more eighth notes. And then you go to the F sharp for just the last four eighth notes. So the second time round altogether is... Third time's the same as the first. And then the last time is just a G to a D5 chord, okay? And that is... Then back in. So let's go through the chorus together, right? One, two, three, four... the whole thing so i hope you enjoyed that one stay tuned lots more muse coming up see you soon cheers bye bye